Yarrow boilers are an important class of high-pressure water tube boilers. They were developed by Yarrow Shipbuilders Limited and were widely used on ships, particularly warships. So what happens when a high-pressure water tube boiler is fitted to a steam locomotive? The LNERSW1 class, known as the Hush Hush due to its secrecy, was an experimental steam locomotive fitted with high pressure water tube boilers. Inspired by the results of using high pressure steam in marine applications, Sir Nigel Gresley wanted to fit a high pressure water tube boiler to a standard 462 frame. But due to the boiler's size, seeing an outline drawing in June 1927 which showed excessive rear overhang and heavy loading on the trailing axle, Gresley instructed Darlington Works to change the real arrangement to 464. The boiler was capable of roughly producing 450 psi, as opposed to the 200 psi standard boiler, like the A1 boiler would produce. The boiler shape was very unusual, yet unique, hence why I'd obtained the nickname Galloping Sausage. Remind you of anyone? Number 10,000 was completed at Darlington Works in November 1929, and first ran on December 12th. It entered service on June 21st, 1930, running non-stop services between London and Edinburgh. And while it managed to keep on time, it seemed relatively poorly compared to a fire tube boiler. There were plans in 1929 to name the engine British Enterprise, however these were dropped when the nameplates were made. Number 10,000 was taken to Doncaster Works in 1936 for a conventional fire tube boiler, when it was deemed that no further progress could be made following the visit to Darlington Works in August 1935 for further modifications. The conventional fire tube boiler rebuilt resulted in a more spacious cab for the driver and fireman, as the engine still retained its 464 wheel arrangement. When nationalization happened in 1948, number 10,000 was renumbered 60,700. Plans to name number 60,700 Pegasus in 1951 were made, but much like British Enterprise, the plans were dropped. On the 1st of September 1955, number 60,700 had just departed from Peterborough when the front bogey frame broke. The locomotive derailed at a speed of 20 miles per hour at Westwood Junction. It was recovered and repaired. Number 60,700 was withdrawn on June 1st, 1959, and was broken up for scrap at Doncaster Works later that year. One of its tenders, however, did survive its preservation. Tender number 5484 is now attached to number 4488, Union of South Africa. Like mentioned before, the water tube boiler steamed relatively poorly compared to a fire tube boiler, which affected number 10,000's performance. Another issue was air leaking into the casing of number 10,000, which also affected its performance, and nobody could ever find the cause or a solution to this problem. While there isn't a way to fix the fire tube boiler's poor steaming, there's only one possible way to fix the air leaking into the casing which is to fully cover the front of the casing to the smoke box door, making the front of number 10,000 look like an LNER A4 with large smoke deflectors. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.